Hi, this is Terry from Fabric Junction in the beautiful Black Hills of South Dakota. Today I have a quilt that we're calling Rainbow because of the beautiful colors that we have in the quilt. Very simple, a nice modern looking quilt. This was made with a panel, which I'll show you in a second. We have our background and notice the quilting. The staff did a gorgeous job of quilting that, keeping that very modern look that we're looking for. The panel that I used, and it took two panels, and that's because when you cut, you need to get your seam allowance in there, and you'll actually cut the length. Don't want you cutting the short way. I do want you to cut the length. So you would cut half of your strips out of one, you'll need a second panel to get your other set of strips because you do need ten two and a half strips. If you don't want to work with a panel, but I don't know why you wouldn't, it is a gorgeous quilt, you can use two and a half inch strips, ten of them, plus your background, which I have started here. And then this one actually does have a very rainbow look because I did set this one up Got to keep it from falling on the floor. Up oh, there she goes. We'll pull it up this way for a second. As you can see, I have started my rainbow look. You have a wide piece of top, followed by your two and a half. In this case, a two and a half, two and a half, two and a half, two and a half. And then you start building three and a half, two and a half, three and a half, two and a half. And it's all laid out in your pattern for you. But very simple. Once you have your pieces cut, I took them and laid them out in the order that I was going to sew them. So I did one row at a time. My next row that I'm getting ready to work on, my strip is already cut. I'm ready to go. I lay my ends this way. I also have my pieces in order here, so I know I need to pick up these two. And I sew them. This one I have to be careful because my right and wrong side on the background looks very similar. So I go through. So my ends. Move some of my tools back. And I'm going to press, and on this particular one, I did press to the dark. So we're going to the dark side. Now, one of the tricks that I do when I'm adding this is I find my center, and you can either press it or pin it, either way. I find the center of my row that I'm going to add it. Line it up. Find that center. Open it back up. Now this particular one I know both the ends are the same. You'll want to pay attention that if you're doing the short end, which it looks like I'm going long, the short side's on this side. So my next one, the blue, will have a longer one to what it, here is my right, a shorter one to my left. So you'll want to pay attention to that. This one just happens to be the row in which those two pieces are the same. Pin your center. Then I just walk over this way, I start, I sew, I keep the two together, I come, continue to sew, I line up here and oop, get it lined up nice, there we go, and lay flat and I sew it. Now, when I sew, if I started from this side on this strip, when I get ready to do my next one, I start on this side because that'll keep it from that funny shift you get when you sew everything from the same side. 
You don't want to do that because one side will stay nice and straight and the other side starts to go off at an angle. We don't want to do that. So as you add your strips, so one starting right here would be my left and then the next one I would put on I would be sewing it the top face down, add, so I can keep my quilt straight as you can see that it is saying nice and straight and not get that shifting that we can get when you go from one side to the other. That in essence is this beautiful rainbow quilt that you just sew those great strips together. Have someone quilt it, send it to us. We'll be delighted to quilt it for you. Nice, simple, great modern quilt made with beautiful color or a gorgeous panel. Either way, you'll have a fun, simple quilt that everyone would admire. You'll find the pattern on our website. It's a free download for you. So I hope you enjoy our rainbow quilt. And send us a picture. If you get one made, we'd love to have a picture. Thank you for watching us here at Fabric Junction.